Okay. Oh, what happened here? We lost one cruiser to four. This is why we need to have uh, scouts everywhere so that we know where he has ships. And evidently the estimates that, his, uh, that we get in our view are wrong because he still has cruisers. That said, I'm pretty sure he had like 10 cruisers before and we only got like 6, which would make this the missing 4 or so. Uh, the numbers aren't accurate either. So what was the ship? This was the warship that we have and these are just more of his ships. If it's uh, the same torpedo designs that we saw before. The numbers here go up to 10. Uh, we saw one torpedo 7 last time. This is just 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh well, yeah, goes up to 11 I guess. And one ship versus four, I um, have to say. Especially with missiles. Oh yeah, they just already lost 10 points of armor. What was uh, 18 points of structure <laughs> remaining? <laughs> missiles lose. Uh, missiles make you lose if you have uh, only kinetic weapons. Very well, we lost this one. Okay, now that we know that these ships are there, we can try to get a counter going. They were on the war point here somewhere. Oh, actually, they were not on the war point there. They were intercepting my ship and then went back to this planet. Because the, the fight was not on the planet. No, there's no, uh, there's no planet there. Okay, anything else happened? No, not really. <laughs> Upgraded 11 research labs. <laughs> Okay, that should be good. How much research points you have now? Oh, but it still shows it's almost 600. Uh, next turn it should show me a different amount. Our money looks much better with that one ship frozen with uh, the homeworld not building much anymore. And a few more uh, metropolises built. Not much. Well, this is still quite a bit actually. The upgrade doesn't really cost 300, no, it just costs 150. But still 150 times 12 facilities, so 1.8k organics. And we have you... yeah, we set you to fill up the whole planet with it. Okay, you can do that. You are actually finished with your couple of metropolises. Should we build anything else on you? You still have space to fill. Well, if we want to out eco him, then uh, then we should probably build uh, more another yard or two. I mean, how long would it take to actually build thirty research labs on here? One point eight years. If we were to build. Um, Another light shipyard, would that be much better? And would potentially, well, it would increase uh, our construction rate by 50% because we have two light shipyards, which would mean that this would not be 1.8 but 1.2 years, which would mean a saving of uh, six turns, whereas this thing only takes three turns to construct and then there's still some left over. So, yeah, I think, um, I think a third light shipyard is still the way to go. Uh, this one is upgrading stuff, uh, this one is building stuff, it's heavy shipyard for quite a while still. You are almost done with your heavy shipyard. Once that thing is done, we can go and uh, demolish these three things and build another heavy shipyard. Uh, but then the question remains, do we even have enough resources to feed that just yet? Well, just yet is probably no. Just yet, probably not, but if we can fill up the r remaining, what, 27, or well, just 17 p pieces here, with all metropolises, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's it too. I want to have better metropolises. Metropoli. Let's just finish the next level of that. We should get the next level of that as after that as well, but um, Metropolises, and we have to look at what the new shield generators can do. Metropolises come from industry tech, don't they? Do, 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 I don't see in here. Do they come from 
planetary governance. No, there was research labs. Don't come from here. Oh, let's look at the metropolis and see what it says it uploads uh, it up levels up with. Uh, requires two times the facility level of total tech levels in planetary industry and macrobiology. Specifically, only planetary industry and macrobiology, only the tier one techs. I think I can deal with that. Uh, maybe there's going to be higher tech versions for uh, tech options for generating income. I just had an idea for generating income. We have these things lying around, and I'm pretty sure at some point in the distant, distant past of yesterday, we researched remote extraction shit. Uh, do we need three? No, we just needed we just needed one in fact, did we? How good are they? 160 each. That and uh, and they had this weird ordnance mechanic. Where they produce 50 ordnance but use 100 it doesn't specifically say that it reduces the value either. Mm. I think the uh, resource re value reduction is a, uh, a modable value. Mm. Road extractors do actually count towards our cargo requirement. So four of these on here. And then I guess we just want solar sails uh, in order to avoid having expensive reactors and shit on here. Just to double check, they don't actually give us... no, they just give you supply, they don't give you ordnance regeneration. Well, as long as we have these in a system where we have a supply station, or a rather a spaceport, since that has the function of one now, meaning, well, the three systems we occupy so far, we should be fine. Uh, we're going to need eight of these because this ship is 800 kilotons in size. There we go. That's one move. We could just make it a uh, two move. Could in fact make it three move if we put one of these in here. It's probably better. That said, nuclear reactors, while they cost a lot of radioactives, um, this would make them take longer to build. We we'll just have two moves, but whatever, I just didn't want to have it one move. Once they get where they're going, they shouldn't be needing to move again. If you put it on a nuclear reactor, we go and save on organics. And radioactives is a resource that we can get extra amounts of with the solar generators that we have. It's just that these take longer to produce. But this would be a favorable resource uh, distribution for our current economy. Well, vehicle requests additional crew to operate its internal systems? Apparently so. I mean, I guess it makes sense that extraction uh, stuff requires a lot of people that can work under space mines. Space mines of Ura Penthe. Like this, and then a little extra tonnage for mm, what? Extra magazines. And it's going to be a lot, uh, a lot of turns. If this is a shortfall of 200 uh, ordnance per turn, and this is nine turns. Well, I guess it's not a, not that much then. Uh, it's not like we need it. How much did it actually cost to build? Not that much. Might as well leave it on there. Yeah, but you know what I think I rather want? Uh, would you rather, would you rather... Oh, sensors, where are sensors? Give me a sensor. Slap a sensor on here. Mm, they don't cost much either. Then I can see if something approaches them. I'm afraid stealth, coating us, stealth coatings aren't going to be useful. You see, put could put a PD gun on here or something that they couldn't be intercepted by fighters. But making fighters or gunboats even that can move tiles is not as easy with early game tech as we figured out. 
So let's just leave him that way, I guess. You don't have to completely fill every ship, I know it's difficult. But it can be done. Uh, you are Parkinson's. Your strategy is to ask LG. And your design type is going to be uh, extraction ship of some description. Miner. You are a miner. You know, I think a miner is something that I would actually spend money on. Do we have any plans with good organics values? Oh, yes, we have. One with 250 right here. Two with 250 right here. Uh, I'm afraid you're not going to be finished just yet, but soon enough you will be finished with your heavy ship yet. And how about you just uh, spread some Parkinson's? We could still. Oh, wait, there's two planets here too. Oh, also with good organics values. Yeah. Why would we just build one here right now? The Parkinson not up. Mm, it's probably not going to finish. They are going to be too expensive uh, for this to finish in one turn, I'm afraid. Oh well, then we'll just have Parkinson's next turn. I guess I can live with that. Then uh, next turn I will be old enough uh, so that it's not bad anymore. Right now it is. Okay, we want to have you sitting here. I would rather have a sensor ship guarding this war point so that I know when they come out. <sighs> Let's see, does he have anything on the planet? No, he does not have anything on the planet. Which means, uh, since he only has one sensor range, he does not see me. And he does not see this ship either. Thing is, he can move... Uh, could he move three tiles? Yes, he could move three tiles. Oh, yeah, right, that was his weird computer. He can move three tiles, which means he can move through the war point in a turn if he so desires. Or if he decides to call his ship back to his home world, then I wouldn't know if I'll just leave the ship on if his ship sitting here. So if he wants to, he can move to these tiles or through the war point, and I won't know as long as I have this ship sitting here and this one not sitting here. Wait. If he moves his ship through the wormhole, he has to remain sitting here, and if we cloak this ship, then this ca ship can see what is on this tile. Genius, right? I know. Now, now, now I just have to check this damn tile every turn. Or check the status of these ships anyway. Uh, these are just colony ships. He shouldn't be seeing me here. Uh, the we actually have sensor range on this thing, so let's check it out. Nothing built yet. I wonder if he's resource locked. I've been wondering for a while. So losing those couple ships earlier should have uh, dissuaded him a little bit. You're still on the way. And we have this invasion ship still on the way. Those are going to be here. These guys are going to be on the war point. Anybody else need orders? Mm, you, you were going to sentry. Uh, since there's hostile ships and planets in the system, we're probably going to re-sentry this every turn. Unless we just tell you to move to where you are and give you an order to repeat that, then the sentry order will not be rescinded every turn and we won't have this ship pop up whenever we look for ships that don't have orders every turn. Put up. So, do we want to have you sitting here? Yeah, we want to have you sitting there in fact, or maybe even there, so that we can keep an eye on both these planets at the same time. Yes. Uh, you were going to check out their home worlds, keep an eye on that. You were going to stay here. I should re-sentry you. It's probably the same thing with the sentry order being rescinded every damn turn now. So let's give you a move order and repeat as well. And that's it. We are not going to have an immediate economic collapse this turn. And um wait well that's all we have in research right now, but else did we research this turn? Shields three? Oh we just removed the sh uh, removed the research investment already. Three. 
Uh, yes, I wanted to check out how good these gravitic shields are. Magnetic shields level 3. Oh, they're actually twice as good as the level 1s. Damn, that's not bad. And my gravitic shields are 100 shield, 100 shield points. So, um, basically just a regular upgrade over this one. Another 20 points. Mm, a little more expensive, but uh, I guess I can leave with that. Now putting two on these is all that we need to completely shield our ship against one simultaneous missile hit. Now if we're only in a position to actually build warships right now. Guns. Right, that's a big tanker that we built once. No, well, that's still the premier warship that we have uh, right now. Warship design anyway. So... Uh, anything we need to queue up on the colonies? No, I don't think so. Right, we had this one that was closed and we queued up stuff there. These are not going to be found just yet. The warships here are still on the way. Nothing else to do then. Oh wait, we actually needed to spend our research on something. Man, I love that notification. Without that notification I would be such an inefficient researcher sometimes I feel. Uh, yeah, let's go for the extra power. Maybe we can make five move ships. <laughs> that would be fast. <laughs> 